Greetings everyone and welcome to another analysis video. Now straight away you might be asking, L, why are you using David Tennant as your avatar instead of TK? Well, if TOG is allowed to use the most sexiest American as one of his avatars, then I should be allowed to use one of the most sexiest Brits as my avatar. So yeah, David Tennant, now canon. Sometimes. Now for this analysis video I'm going to talk about a topic that's just been brought up. And the two people I've heard it from are from Drinking with Bob and Onision. So basically a guy who does nothing but yell at the camera and a guy who might be a member of PETA. Now they've been talking about PSY, who you might know more for the man who sang the most popular music video of all time, Gundam Style. The big issue here is way back in the early 2000s, PSY was actually singing anti-American songs. Now one of the songs included lyrics like Kill Those Fucking Yankees, kill them all slowly and painfully as well as their daughters, mothers, daughters-in-laws and fathers. Now some of you may be shocked that this is the same guy who basically sang a silly little song that got famous on YouTube. But you see we've only touched the icing of the cake. Oh we need to go so much deeper into understanding why this person may have sang those anti-American songs. Back in 2002, PSY took part in an anti-American concert which came after a US military convoy gunned down two 14-year-old South Korean schoolgirls during the Yangudi Highway incident. Now whilst the soldiers involved with the incidents were acquitted by the US military courts, this still fueled a significant amount of anti-American sentiments in South Korea. Then in 2004, a South Korean translator and Chinese missionary Kim Sun Il was kidnapped and beheaded in Iraq after the South Korean government refused to reconsider sending its armed forces to support the Iraq war. Although internal protests were only directed for, towards the South Korean government and towards extremists in Iraq, anti-US military protesters decided to seize the moment to trigger a much larger wave of anti-Americanism. During the concert, PSY, a domestic Iraqi kidnappers, condemned the South Korean government and also sang along to the lyrics of the song Dear America by South Korean rock band NXT, who composed it to condemn the United States and its military for its role in the Iraq war. This is the song that had the lyrics kill those fucking Yanks. Now I'm not saying what this guy did was right. Hell, I actually think that he's wrong for saying that innocent people who had nothing to do with the wars should be slowly killed. However, this sort of stuff was brought on by stuff that Americans did. Granted, if it wasn't for American help, then maybe South Korea would be invaded by North Korea. But if you hear something about what a person from another country did, or a country in general did, you're going to be quite pissed with that country, aren't you? Now when this was reported early December 2012, PSY did issue an apology saying that what he said was inappropriate and basically offensive and that he wishes that the American people would forgive him. Now some people are saying why is he apologising now? Let's be honest here, this is nothing new. Most celebrities do have skeletons in their closets and when it's discovered and exploited in the media they're already writing their apology speeches. Yet yeah, another thing that's not new is anti-Americanism. This guy's in the news about singing some anti-American songs in the early 2000s, yet in a 2010 poll, this showed that there was more negative views on America in France than there was in South Korea. Okay, I can see people don't want an anti-American performing at the White House, but yet they're judging him for what he said years ago, and they're ignoring the fact that opinions can and do change. Now I'm not saying that PSY is pro, anti or neutral on America today, in fact I actually don't know what's his view on America and quite frankly I don't care. However, on a side note I like to address drinking with Bob. Bob you go on and say, if it wasn't for America this guy wouldn't still be here to say his anti-American speech and blah 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 blah, yet straight after you immediately turn on the American people who like the song and call them smucks and idiots even though there were no reports of this anti-American speech until December of this year. That's technically called anti-Americanism, Bob. Way to keep it classy. And that is all I've got to say about this because I have nothing else to say because I can't think of anything. As always, you can agree and you can disagree and you can do likes or dislikes or comments or whatever. This has been Entertainment and just remember I can't fucking say this.